When I was looking at the items in your book, chapter 15 drew my interest. It focuses on leading by principle, not by policy, and was trying to get a better understanding of how managing the principle helps a sales manager more than managing the policy. Primarily, the value in that is that principles are flexible, whereas a policy is hard and fast. Mm -hmm. So we were just talking about adjusting our management style based on the people on our team and the way they want to be managed. If I have a policy, there's only one thing that can happen if I don't follow the policy, right? (laughs) I can be criticized for applying the policy in an unfair way. Whereas a principle allows me to have that flexibility for personality. It also treats people as the adults that they are. You know, you look at people in their personal lives, they do really good managing their lives for the most part, right? They, they're they able to, to do all of the things that support their family. You know, they get their kids off to sports coaching. They do, you know, all, all of the different areas that go into running someone's life. But for some reason, we bring them into the workplace and some managers treat them like they're no longer adults, that they don't know how to manage or control some of the very basic a- aspects of their life. So as an example of that, you'll see, uh, you, you ever go into a into a building where there's signs posted everywhere, like flush after you use the toilet or refill the copier? Yeah, <laughs> right? and they, I, just, uh, I just saw one that I just, I had to laugh. I think it was on LinkedIn. I saw it. somebody had to post a sign and they even said in the sign that they posted that I'm embarrassed that I have to post this, but you're going to be fired if I catch you playing Pokemon. yeah so you get the point but sometimes you'll especially managers that are kind of leading behind you know from behind the the protection of a dashboard if they run into an issue with a salesperson rather than deal with it they'll issue another policy so i've seen companies have really good success even when it comes down to for instance the per diem that or what people would spend when they're traveling for business or in pursuit of sales so you'll have some organizations they'll say you can have X that you can spend on hotels and X dollars for each meal. And I've seen other organizations that simply say, we believe in being frugal so that we can serve our customers and our employees in a greater way. Mm -hmm. And if you can see the difference in those two approaches, one is a policy. So now you have to have somebody policing the policy. At some point you have somebody, the sales manager or somebody else having a conversation with the salesperson saying, hey, why did you spend $20 more on your hotel tonight or your $2 more on your dinner? Right. And it sets up this oppositional way of thinking about their role. Whereas if I simply say, as an organization, we believe in being frugal so we can better serve our customers and our employees. And if I just publish the data, Mm -hmm. pretty soon a norm comes out. (laughs) The guy that's spending, you know, $250 a night on hotels and never eating less than $50 for breakfast pretty soon realizes, hey, that's not being frugal by company standards because he can see the rest of the standards. And he'll that person, he or she will self-adjust. It creates a better environment. Absolutely. Or as an example, for I see salespeople that travel and they're out all week. And then when they come back in, sometimes the company will say, we need you to come in on Friday morning because I know you're in town and they're, you know, they keep them in the office till five. Rather than recognizing the the principle of we work hard and we handle our business, right? So if the salesperson has been out traveling Monday through Thursday, Mm -hmm. the the company's virtually had them 24-7 to say, hey, I'm okay if on Friday you go out and play golf or you catch up with your kid's soccer game or you do those things because I trust you to be an adult. It is interesting because people in the office don't understand what it's like getting into a hotel every night at like 10 p.m. because you're traveling to the next city. Yep. So... By having a principal involved, and the sales boss or the sales manager really needs to be the advocate of the salesperson. 